I want to talk to you about this all too common phrase that sounds innocent, but can cause you a lot of pain when you're on the path of dating and wanting to call in a true soulmate. Recently, in the past few months, about three of my clients who I've worked with have gone through extremely painful breakups. And when we trace it back to what got them into trouble, it's this phrase that they heard from the man that they were seeing that seems innocent enough, that seems like it wouldn't cause any harm, but I want you to be on the lookout. And it's this phrase, I'm open to. When you're dealing with the really important things in your relationship, like if you want to have kids, do you want to get married? Do you want to be in an exclusive relationship? When men are saying, I'm open to that, that is not a yes. One of the women, the men on his dating profile stated, I've never been married, I've never had children, but I'm open to both. Painfully, nine months later, that relationship was over. Another woman I work with was dating a man for three months. And uh, she said, you know, are we, are we exclusive? Like it's been three months now. And he said, no, I'm not, I, I'm not interested in that. She said, but you said you were open to it. So when we hang on to these, we hear these words and we hang on to them, desperately hoping for a yes, especially when it's the big things, long-term commitment, children, whatever else your absolute musts are in your relationship, it brings pain and tremendous disappointment. And then we waste our time in relationships that we're never going to go anywhere anyway. So it's fine if your man uses those words, but I'd get clear very early on, is it a yes or is it a no? And walk, don't run if you don't get a clear answer. I'm cheering for you all the way.